Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. <clears throat> Excuse me. Listen, I want to share something with you. Many of you are struggling. And one of the main reasons you're so on edge as you try to walk with God is because you believe, this is something I just heard from a person a few days ago. You believe that when you get saved, everything's supposed to change. Boom, in an instant. No, it only happens like that when God calls us home. We're changed in the twinkling of an eye. No, we're not changed in the twinkling of an eye here on this earth, baby cakes. It doesn't go down like that. That's why <clears throat> 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Now the point of that are become rather than have become new. The are become new expresses progression. You're not an overnight success. None of us will ever be an overnight success. Now God can change our attitude in an instant. God can remove anger in an instant and he can also heal a particular wound in an instant <clears throat> excuse me but he allows time to process us into holiness and he knows the difference between those who are playing holy and those who are diligently seeking to be holy he knows the heart while man judges the outward appearance. Now there's a particular denomination that of people that I know, I love them very dearly, I really do. The issue with that is, I can tell, there are some <clears throat> who take very, very great pride in their denomination, in their holy day of worship. But some, not all, some of them are very genuine. And unfortunately, many of them who even are genuine have never experienced God. So, but those who are not genuine, who are religious and religiously serve, religiously count that money, religiously usher, religiously do whatever they're needed to do within the body of that, you know, congregation, will crawl out from under the sheets with their lover man or their lover girl and go to church looking all nice and holy. And they think that's okay because they got a day. They worship on the Sabbath. <clears throat> They they serve on the Sabbath. They consecrate the Sabbath. That's Saturday for those of you who don't know. But the point is, it's religious dogma. And if you are going to worship, remember that Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. And he is our sabbatical experience. So if you are pushing the Sabbath, Okay, that's fine, but do everything else that goes with it. Live a holy life. You hear what I'm saying? Watch who you hang with. Watch what you're doing. Don't get so caught up in the religious piety of life that your walk with God is in the gutter, but you're looking good while you're in the gutter. You make sure none of the saints catch you there. But it's obvious that some of you live in the gutter. Some of you say 10 Hail Marys. Some of you worship on Sunday. You go to church and you're doing great and everything's wonderful and you're making money and you, you got a lot of friends in the church and they ask you to sing because you have a wonderful gift or they ask you to play because you're phenomenal. But your walk is in the gutter. Now my point is God knows the difference. And just like you would not want a person 
pouring water in your mouth from a dirty water hose where everything else has been in that thing besides water. Dirty water at that. You would not want a person feeding you from the pulpit or singing a song th from the pulpit or wherever in that church ministering to you from a dirty vessel. And I say to those of you who are not living anything, step down. Don't waste God's time and don't con contaminate the anointing. It's already short enough because y'all are too scared to let God move in your midst. So you put handcuffs on the Holy Spirit and you only allow him to go so far. Because you must keep up appearances. After all, your religion is very important to you. But it's not important to you that God just saw you climbing out of the sheets with him or her. Screwing all night half the week. And that's not important to you. It's not important to you to just slapping your wife upside the head. You're abusive. You're disrespectful. That's not important to you. It's not important to you that you lie, you scheme, you, 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 you trick, you connive to get any kind of money you can, any kind of way you can, by all means possible. And you just dabble in sin over here and dabble in sin over there. It's not important to you. But your religion, oh, you got that down pat, baby. Well, my point is, in saying all that, those of you who are religious, many of you just need to step down. Because you ain't hitting on nothing and you're not winning brownie points from God. But those of you who are truly living holy, who are truly seeking his face, who may not have it all right, but you're doing, you're giving it all you got. Don't you dare give up. God's pulling for you. He knows what's in here. He knows who his sincere babies are. Even if you're barely walking and tripping over your own two feet. He knows who his babies really are. So you stay in his arms. You stay in God's word. You stay in the fellowship of the saints. You stay encouraged. And you stay the course, because great will be your reward. God bless you.